My name is Richard L. Dorsey, Singer. Where were you uh, born in Carroll County? Uh, born in Carroll County. Born in New Windsor, Maryland, uh, back in uh, 1944. Uh, can you tell us some? Um, where Where did you attend school then? Robert Moulton uh, School in 1962. No, no, no. Uh, 1950. I came out in 1962. What was uh What was it like attending Robert Moulton School? Well, uh, I attended uh, first grade. In my first grade, uh, I had Miss uh, Shockley, and she was a kind of mean. School, school teacher. How was she mean? Because uh, she, my name is Dorsey. I remember, remember that real good. Name is Dorsey. Dorsey was a tight uh, family. They didn't like my father that well. My father was a mean man in Carroll County. And when you mention the word Dorsey, they would kind of Take a hard, hard on it because we didn't, didn't do that much uh, work in school because we did most of our work out in the gardens, raising chickens, raising pigs, and, and all that. And my father was the type of person, whatever he had, he gave uh, away. And Miss Shockley was not one of his favorite people. Uh, can you talk about was there diversity in your neighborhood growing up? Well, not us, because we, back then in, in, in the uh, 50s and 60s, most of the other families lived a distance uh, away. Uh, the people that lived uh, here on Charles Street and Southern Street wasn't too much a problem. Only problem is that they had money mainly because they didn't have running water, they didn't have uh, inside uh, uh, bathrooms. And stuff back then, it was hard. I mean, uh, you had to make some sacrifices, but you know, everybody got along. Everybody picked their churches, and and on Sunday was a good time for everybody because everybody got out and communicate with uh, everybody. You know. Uh, coming back to the school, can you describe what it was like? What were the facilities like? Size, teachers, class size. Uh. Well, in my first grade of school, it was pretty uh, crowded. Uh, back then, we had uh, uh, the best time for me was when the bell rang for to eat. That was the best time, yeah. And you know, we had time that we went outside and played. We play, uh, probably don't have one one ball just to uh, play with, uh, you know, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't easy then for practically nobody, I mean. Some people would go to school to learn, and some people would go to school to get away from home. We, Dorsey, was one of them. Hmm. Um, what was your interactions like with the other students? All right. I mean, we all right. The, uh, most of all the parents, they knew e each other. The Dorsey knew, the Sims, the Sims knew, the Domes. We all practiced basically, basically the area, uh, except the uh, Sykefield, my area, uh, area. But with the Westminster, the Carroll County, the Union Bridge, and New England, we they practically knew each other b because they all went to the same to churches. And then when you have uh, co conflict, uh, people down my area in Sightfield, Ellsburg, they w was different because they went to different churches. But basically, for 365 days that we went, went to school, we basically got along because we had dealt with each other for 12 years, you know. Uh, I started going with my uh, wife, uh, uh, when I was in the sixth, sixth, sixth uh, grade, and I stuck with her until the twelfth uh, grade. So 
And when you met somebody, you pretty well was stuck with them. Um, what 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 about the uh, church? What was the history like? What did it look like? What were the, what was the community there? My church was the Robert Starbish Church in New Windsor, Amela. Still stand. It's it's been redone. Look good. But basically, that was the church where everybody go to. People from Westminster, Union Bridge, New Windsor, and all around, everybody was there because everybody got a chance to see each uh, other. They had uh, cookouts, they had uh, different fun, 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 fundraisers. That was, it was church, but basically, that was a place where everybody got a chance to show off the car and, you know, all the I things, yeah. What, if you were able to change something from your past, from growing up, be it a, uh, some element you could make different, to make things easier, would there be something like that? Well, I tell you, <laughs> way, way thing is now, I, I would like to go back to the old way. I like to raise my pigs and my chickens and my cow, my goat, and the and, and, uh, price wouldn't be so high. I could slaughter my own meat, cut my own grass. But now it's now you can't you can't do it and raise my own garden. Uh, but now you can't do it. You got to buy everything commercial in the store. The meat is high. The lard is high. When my father raised us, he raised us to learn how to divide for yourself. And you get yours, have anything left over, you can share it with your neighbors. Right today, I'm 63 years old, we still do the, do what he taught us. And I have pictures at home of my, my mother and my aunt, uh, canned food, the, the 12 can time, took several pictures, uh, of, of them canned food for the other pe people. No, 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 I mean, I mean, I like the way things is now because things are now much faster, but the price is ridiculous. I remember paying 25 cents for a gallon of gas. Not now. $5.25. Um, the experience that you had growing up as a minority in Carroll County, how has that changed for youths today that are minorities growing up in Carroll County? To me, um, I, um, I left uh, Carroll County in 1962. Well, I, 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 I played on the, on the uh, New Windsor soft, uh, uh, baseball team, uh, ran track, I ran, uh, played basketball, played in all, all the uh, tournaments, soccer ball. I had no problem, racial, no fights, no nothing. I, I, the, this world now is all going different. People carry knives, people carry guns. You, you know, it's, it's just like, look, look over your shoulder because you don't know who's behind you. You know, you got got to... When you drive your car, you got to be uh, careful. You make sure you don't cut nobody off because someone may shoot you. It's a different world altogether, you know. Uh, take me back. I'd rather, I'd rather go back to the old way. When you look back to the old way, what was your most visit, uh, vivid memory? Uh, I mean, uh, can you, you explain that uh, again? Uh, when you think back to your fondest time, the thing you enjoyed most about growing up in that old oh, way of life. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I, I, we had uh, dances at school. Uh, we had uh, different activities at the uh, Westminster Fall Hall. We had, uh, had the carnival, uh, the carnival in New Windsor. We had carnival in Westminster. Uh, we had uh, baseball games, different activities during the summertime that everybody got there and, and, and enjoy. Uh, Robin Moulton, uh, they, they accumulate a softball uh, league and had different, different leagues playing softball. 
I mean, it's altogether a uh, uh, different, altogether a different people. I mean, it, it's now it's like go to work, run in your house, lock your door. That's that's the world we living in. I mean, you can't do too much because you ain't got that much money to do anything with. I mean, you make five hundred dollar a week, four hundred dollar a week, gotta go for a bill. You know, it's, it's not much room now to save. It's not much, you know. But it's good to put a few dollars for rain, rainy day, but it's like rainy day is every day. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That was a very great interview. Thank you yeah. for uh, participating in the history. What are you going to do about the, the sports? Let's talk about the, the sports. The sports? Yeah. Which ones in particular? I mean, I'm going to talk about Robert Moulton. All right. Uh, uh, how we... Uh, got a ass kicked every day playing <laughs> soccer ball. Right. Did you guys ever win soccer? We never won one, but one game. <laughs> one game. See, you not recording this. So is, is that thing on? Yeah, it's on. All right. I'm telling you, though, we played soccer ball. We played basketball. We, we uh, run and track. A soccer ball was very interesting. I'm telling tell you this. We played soccer ball. The white people were trying to kick our ass, and they did kick our ass. So we got slick. We got some uh, uh, baseball uh, guards put on on the uh, legs, so they they wouldn't hurt us too bad. So one day I decide I'm gonna go downstairs in my, in my father's uh, basement and steal me a gallon of homemade uh, wine. So I put it in my gym bag, took it to school, put it in my locker, and I told the guys, look, I say, this is the last game of the season. We gonna win one of them. So we all dipped in this homemade wine, and we all got kinda toozy. We were playing Mount Airy. Don't lock me up, Mount Airy, but I'll tell you the truth. So we were playing Mount Airy, and we got it. We, one of the guys accidentally kicked the ball in a one point game. We won. They lost. The only game we won all year. That was a good thing. We, every guy that plays sport, remember that day, right that day. It's a Richard Dorsey. Everybody here called me Richard Dorsey. Nobody called me Richard. They know me because, because they come to me packing for everything. And uh, they say, going to do something. Like, we had a track track team going over to Western Mel uh, College. We should have done it, but leave it to me. I told them, let's do it. We had a track team. One, two, three, four. We were running a uh, full four relay. And uh, I think well, Gary Hudson let, let off. I was second. Then Larry Rubon was third. And Hayes Knox was uh, the, the anchor. And the damn fool, uh, 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 Gary Hudson passed the baton to me. I passed the baton to Larry. And Larry. We, we were way out front, way out front. He dropped the damn baton. And man said, we disqualified. We couldn't win. We had, you got to have the baton in order to win. The damn fool dropped it. And we lost. All of that running that we did. And we he dropped the damn baton. And I, we still remember that right the day. So when, when you see me out there, they see me, they memorize the soccer ball game, the, the guy that dropped the baton, you know, it's all of them crazy things. But we had a good time. We all family, we enjoy each other, but we had some, some, some good times, some bad times, but we still got Stan Chase, Mr. Shepard, and we still... You know, still do the same thing. See? Great.
Yeah. So, thank you. It was good. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, you are. We appreciate it.